part of your update of the fifth discipline was to include reflections from practice in the years that have gone by since it first came out in 1990. What is one reflection from practice that stands out for you? Well, first off, it was a lot of fun because I just picked people I really want to talk to. <laughs> You know, I picked I picked a small set of my own heroes. You know, people I admired enormously, and just the excuse of getting on the phone with them. And I knew them all well, so I could do it all by phone. You know, getting on the phone with them for an hour, and then writing something, and then sending it back to them. It was just a great pleasure. Uh, one of them was a woman named Barbara Stocking, who's retired now. She's now Dame Barbara Stocking. She was the president of Oxfam. And I had known Barbara even before she was in that job. Uh, Oxfam is you know, stands for Oxford Famine Relief. It's, in Europe, probably the single most reputable, uh, really admired social justice NGO uh, in, in UK, where, of course, Oxfam is based. Oxfam is actually a, a global network. There's about 20 Oxfams all around the world, like there is an Oxfam US. But the mothership is the original Oxford, in Oxford, and uh, it's one of the five most uh, respected brands in, in the UK. You know, right up there, you know, with Nike and, and, and Apple and whatever. Just really well-known brands. Um, so Barbara was the president of Oxfam for about 10 years. Uh, I knew her throughout that whole time, and I knew her, as I said, even before she took that job. She'd actually come out of the British health care system prior to that. And she was remarkably uh, effective, and we ended up working on some wonderful projects. I made the comment I did earlier about global food systems. Today there's a, a network of about 70 of the world's largest food companies and NGOs, organizations like Oxfam, World Wildlife, Nature Conservancy, all working together to try to make sustainable agriculture the mainstream system, which will take many decades. Now, that got started because of Barbara. And, and I'll never forget when I was doing the interview with Barbara, she made a simple comment, which just illuminated a lot. She said, you know, I've always been a developmentally oriented manager. Those were her words. Uh, and I said, well, what do you mean by that? She said, well, the development of my people has always been as important to me as producing results. I've always seen those as the two cornerstones of my work as a manager. So that was a very simple articulation. I'd never heard it quite that directly before, of obviously a cornerstone of the work we had all been involved in. Mm. 